five time top five horror anthology movies. Hmm. There's a lot more than you might think. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, well, I'll throw out my number five out there. So there's a lot to choose from, and I, I wanted to make sure this made it to my list. My number five is John Carpenter's Body Bags. Oh, look oh, at that. Man. I went there. Put that shit right in there. Right, my friend. Put that shit right on there. Fucking sexy beast. Can we just? I, can I just say that's my number five, too? Is that nice? That, look that, at you, that's, yeah. That's my number five, man. Shit. What about... Well, oh, and here, we'll go even further. What's your, what's the favorite? What's your... What's the best segment? Oh fuck, man! Which one is your favorite out of that? Oh, Wait, no, my, you went first. No, that's your. You, you get to go first. You get to go first. It's got to be the eye. Really? Yeah, I like the eye. Uh, I like the Stacy Keach one. I'm just gonna say the Stacy like Keach one is really good with the hair, but I don't know. Maybe I'm partial because it's Mark Hamill. I guess the gas station one has Haddonfield involved in it, but yeah, yeah. Hmm. There's only like three, it. right? Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I like the eye too. Then fuck it. I yeah, like I, it. I had to go with the. It's, like, it's Luke Skywalker. Uh, Skywalker. That's yeah. why. Because I remember when I was when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh my god, it's Mark Hamill!" I couldn't believe he was actually in the in this film. So, yeah. what about what, what's your number five, Brett? One that I don't think a lot of people talk about, but uh, it was my first experience with the horror anthologies, and it's Stephen King's Cat's Eye. Remember Cat's Eye? Ooh, oh, wow. yeah, that's right. Yeah, Cat's is it Drew Barrymore with that cat with that little freaking little creature with mm -hmm. his little freaking remember his little knives and stuff? Oh man, but yeah, it's I don't even know if it's R. I think it might be PG thirteen. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. I have to look it up. It you might know, be PG thirteen. It was it was it was a little tame. It wasn't, but it was yeah. good. It doesn't have to be. It over, just, over the top. yeah, it, it hit home a lot with the cat. We had cats at the time too, so it's like, oh man, you want to see the cat win in this one? And sure enough, I think what happens to that creature? It goes through the fan, doesn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's like rips the pieces. So cat says. Is that the one with like the fucking the cigarette smoker or something like that? James Woods. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, I remember. And they're that. watching him to make sure he doesn't smoke and shit. People yes. are calling him and stuff. Fucking that's bizarre. right. That's right. I remember now. That's good. That's some good shit, right? That's some good shit right there, man. Good yes. shit, man. Good shit. All right, I'll go with my number four because because uh, both Joe and I had number five. This the same. So number four is from. It's a fun film, but it, it's more nostalgia for me because it's. Next to Twilight Zone is probably my favorite TV show. Next to Twilight Zone, when it comes to horror, and it's the Tales from the Dark Side movie. The dark Side, yep. Oh, dude. Especially when, it, especially with the intertwined uh, story with uh, Deborah, Debbie Harry, Blondie. Yeah, she yeah. cooked the little kid. Yep. Whew. That was that was, uh, that was like ugly. And yeah. my favorite one in that is because I'm a big New York Dolls fan. Is the one with David Johansson. He, oh he, God! He, yeah, he gets he gets hired by. Um, was it Uncle? Um, what the fuck's his name? In uh, Christmas Vacation, Uncle. God, the old guy with Lewis? the cigar, William Hickey. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy that hires. He hires Dave Johansson because he's a hitman to kill that cat. Remember, the cat was killing everybody off. He's the yeah. creator of the original Puppet Master, if I remember right, too. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah, my you favorite. Go back one and look that up. Yeah, first. They're good, but that's the favorite because I'm a. a Big New York Dolls fan, but that's neither here nor there. But that and that's a good segment. He gets so pissed off because he can't kill that fucking cat. <laughs> that's a cunt. That's a cunt. Uh, my number four, I guess I'm gonna have to go Tales from the Hood, man. Oh my uh, god, I forgot about that. <laughs> it, it, it specifically, uh, there's two of them. The one with Corbin Burnson, uh, where he moves into that that old house and the little doll. Yeah, I remember mm. that. Um, yeah, and then uh, the uh, the scariest for me, the, all of them, was that that guy who got killed, uh, and the cops pee on his grave, and then he comes back from the dead. And he's like zombie, and he fucking like Bleh! he comes after them, and he shoots the needles at that guy. Do you remember that shit? Yeah. Oh, dude, that fucking that was so good. Tells from the hood, and then at the end, uh, the guy at the mortuary happened to be the fucking devil, and he's like, "You are in hell." Welcome to hell and fucking the Clarence. Oh, what's up, Matthew? Yeah, yeah, dude. Hey, that's my hooping buddy. What's up, bro? Buddy. What's up, bro? But yeah, that, tell, tell some of the hood, man. 
Scared Shrek list. Uh, I didn't see that. Have you guys seen that? No, I never seen that. No, I didn't see that one. Travis, it's got an Exorcist parody in it. Well, and many other worse than like uh, what? What scary movie was that? And what was that? Repossessed. The <laughs> yeah, repossessed. Repossessed. Yeah. I used to have to watch that movie after the regular Exorcist <laughs> to feel better about myself. <laughs> fucking fuck the Exorcist, man. That's just scary. Fuck that. No, thank you. Cool. So, what do we have? Number three. Yes, indeed. I'm a trace. Oh, oh, did you say number four, Brady? Hold on, Pat. Uh oh. He's being summoned. Mm -hmm. What did you do, Ray? What did you do? Well, mm. oh, that's why. The little girl. There she is, Taylor. Stay up late because it's before school starts on Monday. So, uh -huh. and then the next, well, what? Well, tomorrow night I get to stay up later. Yeah, yeah, you do. You get to go to your cousin's house. <laughs> just so you, just in case you forgot, Dad. Just in case you forgot. I know you're awesome. Okay, be good, sweetheart. Okay. She's far from shy, guys, as you all know. After all this time. Okay. Yep. Or Sunday. Yep. When I get back, I'll have dessert. My lunch. Yep. Okay. okay. Daddy wants to get off before breakfast. Bye. So, okay. <laughs> it's like, go. I'll stay. No, no, you're fine. Okay, you're bye. fine, sweetheart. Bye bye. <laughs> She's like, hey, go, 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 go. All right. So, you what, guys have daughters. This is going to be rough as she gets older. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it is. So, wait till they, uh, yeah. Did you give you a number four, Brett? Uh, Number four. No, my number four, you guys had is number five. It's body bags. Okay, so, it's body bags. Okay. Yeah, That's body right. bags. I enjoy it to death. Just got an autograph poster from the film. So, yep. yep. Body bags. All right. So, my, my number three is I know when we, I think, did we, uh, I forget, I think we did this ranking on the old podcast, but I remember Brady putting it above the first one. How'd you put the beans above the Frank? So, my number three is Creep Show, too. Fucking Michael got so pissed at me. <laughs> so, so fucking pissed at me. Yeah. So Creep Show too. I, I love Creep Show too. I mean, all the segments in it. You know, thanks for the ride, lady. You know, the the the, the raft. Oh yeah. The raft is so good. So it's, good. Sorry. And uh, the, and even the Indian, the prick with the long fucking hair to get scalped. It's it's such, such a great. Uh, it's it, it's it's another one where there's a sequel that's actually really really good. I wouldn't say it's better than the first one. Brady will. <laughs> hey. There's reasons for that, though. So This is just fine. I have no problem with that. I love them both. But nine number three is Creep Show 2. Very nice, man. Well, you, I'm kind of just piggybacking because it just so happened my list was this way. My number three is Tales from the Dark Side 2. Um, specifically, the fucking mummy. <laughs> oh, that's right. The mummy one. Yep. The mummy oh, one. God, I forgot about that. I don't know why it just stuck with me forever. Um, that one is just, you know, what's the name? Was it Steve Buscemi? Um, his performance really kind of stuck with me uh, during that one. And uh, so it really, it just, I'm going based off my memory. So that, that to me is just, it's top tier. So that's my number three. Number three. And I'm wondering if Joe has this as an earlier one. I don't think Pat will have this as an earlier one, but I could be wrong. My number three is an awesome film, and I hope they do another one. It has been talked about, and it is Trick or Treat with Sam. I, I, oh. I, I wanted to put it on this list, but it, I just didn't have enough. Trick we or did the Treat top six. is so good. Um, if that's my know. that's my number two, brother, so I'm just going to jump in with you. That's okay. my number yeah. two. That's yeah, your that's next one in line. Yeah. Uh, if, there, if there's horror fans watching or listening to us and you haven't seen Trick or Treat, uh, I, I there's not going to be – one of any other movie that I would tell you, you got to go rush and go watch it. It's, it's so good. It's absolutely fun, fun, just fun. It's it a is, perfect, it is, anthology, it is. It's really perfect good. anthology film for the season of Halloween too. So. Yeah, it's a it's a must every year, every mm -hmm. fucking year. You got to watch it every year. Watch it absolutely. That's my number three, and I know that's Joe's number two, and. I'm glad. I, I thought so, Joe. I just um I was just so a guess. So yeah, number. I'm glad you, I brought, I'm glad you brought him up because Sam, he's so iconic, and there's so many collectibles out there. We did a list not yeah. too long ago talking about. There's a lot. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about like different franchises that to collect. And Sam, man, he gets so much love. Pops, figures. Yep. Uh, fuck, you name it. There's fucking Sam everywhere, that little bastard. <laughs> yeah. Rob. And Joe, yeah, you, you said it kind of there, Joe. Just if you're at a convention, get Quinn Lord's autograph. You know, he's, yes. he's he, he was a kid when he did the film. I don't know if he's really doing anything other than that, but he'll talk your ear off. He's a, he's a good dude. And, you know, give him some love, if, especially if you like the movie. I'm, yeah, MB, I don't think he's acting. So, yeah, MB yeah, this, got this to meet too. him. He was, nice. he was a nice guy. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, oh, how's he? On. that's where Art the Clown appeared. Art the Clown, the yeah. of Art, but it's the other actor, but he's still the other actor. It's right. It's not David Howard Thornton. Yeah. Yep. Good for that. Thank God that guy didn't work so, out. Hey, you got to do number two. Right? The actress that's in that is uh, the girl that actually was in. If you watch All Hallows Eve, the actress that was in it, because you know she's putting the tape on and she's seeing the, seeing the and she's watching that videotape, and and it's the different segments that she's watching on the tape. She is the one that gets her um, eyes gouged out in the first Terrifier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know her name, but that's her. But uh, yeah, that's good. So for me, my number two, you knew this had to show up on the list, and I if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for my number one existing, this would be my number one, but my number two, Twilight Zone. Oh, without a doubt. I think we all know what the fucking unanimous number one is going to be. I uh, would think so. I'm well, I don't know. Brett you, might throw us a curveball. I'm going to so. tell you, though, Creep, or not, um, not Creep Show, um, Twilight Zone has the best beginning ever because when I first saw that, it fucked me up. <laughs> you see something yeah, really scary? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That rocks. Dude, it was so good. And did you see the book, Pat? Are you going to get the book about the real the the about the crime scene and all that? I I somebody posted some. I think I showed somewhere on one they, of the they toilet things. Slaughtered lamb. Yeah, yeah. I, I might have to pick that up. It'd be it'd be interesting read. And it's uh it's such a tragedy for the, those that don't know. I mean, it's just terrible. Vic Morrow was killed and two uh two, two kids, kids with him and, and Vic Morrow, which a lot of people probably don't even know, was Vic Morrow's daughter. Uh, oh, wow. Bar- no, uh, not Barbara Hershey. Jennifer Jason Lee. Jennifer Jason Lee. Oh wow, she's one of that's my favorite death. actresses. That's his daughter. Yeah, wow. such a shame. He's such a great actor, and um, uh, and it was such a good segment that he was in too. You know, where if those that don't know, he was in the first segment where he's like this. He's just pissed off at the world and all, all these, he thinks he's not getting ahead and he's, he's very uh, racist against all these different um, cultures because they're getting ahead and he feels like he's not getting ahead and then what does it do? It throws him into all the situations that they rose above to show him that all this shit just wasn't just handed to them. Right. Wow. And it's a, it's a great segment. And great. the whole thing with what happened was that the kids are working after hours, right? Isn't that the whole thing? Like the kids... Yeah, it was a lot of it was a combination of that, and the, I guess they weren't. Uh, John Landis almost went to jail. Yeah, yeah, there, there was a lot of uh, safety precautions that really weren't followed. And if, if, you, if you, anybody's ever seen this, the document, uh, there's a cursed on films it. Op- episode there's on a, it. There's a cursed films on it. There's a documentary. Go watch it because the the visual effects guy never worked again. He, he didn't want to work did. after that. No, it was just terrible. But yeah, it was just oh. And for those morbid people, you can go see it. Just look it up on YouTube. It's there. So it's you can actually there. see the footage of it. And it's just you crazy. You can see it crash and it's a flame. Yeah. And you can yeah. actually see the parts go flying when that when the, when the helicopter the blade hits, the propeller hits. You can mm-hmm. see it. So, yeah. That is definitely my number two. It's I was so excited at the time because I love Twilight Zone. And, it did, and, and they were good because they were, um, well, you figure... There was only two stories that were um, that were actually taken from Twilight Zone. Mm. Uh, three, I'm sorry, three. So that story was the only one that wasn't the that wasn't taken from the original series. The other three were because I had kicked the can. What's got Man Crothers, which is was a remake. Um, Nightmare Thirty Thousand Feet with John Lithgow, which was originally oh Mark yeah, Shatner. and the other one, um, it's a good life. Where the kid had all these powers, you know, yeah. he was like, it is own little world. And the original one in the Twilight Zone was the the little evil kid was Bill Mummy, who was the little kid in uh, uh, Lost in Space, Lost in Sp- Lost in Space. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I love Twilight Zone. I could talk that shit all night. So I'll let you go. Because <laughs> I could talk Twilight Zone all night. Yeah. Uh no, nah, mine this is my turn. My number one. Oh, you and... went with number two, right? Already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you you're on number one, right, Pat? No. That, that you're gonna come. No, we did put number two because your number two was his number three. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, that's trick right. or treat. You know how yeah, I did that? So number my two. number my number two, of course, is trick or treat. And yeah. It's it's a Halloween mainstay. Um, I love the scene with the little boys throwing up bleh, on the side. Oh yeah, on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. Just, come on, man, that is so good. He got poisoned, and Sam is always showing up at the end of that shit. Like it's so cool. It's so creepy. Um, just fantastic, man. That's my number two. Yeah, number two is the very first creep show movie. <laughs> Yeah, we know where we're going with this. I you knew it. Zone, yeah, yeah. Even at the end of Twilight Zone, remember when yep. Lithgow is Lithgow is in the ambulance and it's Dan Aykroyd driving? Yep, that's right. I forgot about that. Hey, you want to see something really scary again? It's the it, oh, wait, what a way to bookend a great film. Tom Atkins needed his mustache and <laughs> creep show. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, he was missing this the stash. But dude. That, that, that Stephen King episode so, or the segment's really good, but the meteor shit. Ted Danson and Leslie Nielsen. Oh, oh God, dude, that's so much fun! So much fun. Leslie what Nielsen and Harris's shit, dance. Dude. It was like pre Crispin Glover. He's that, like, that's very true. Oh yes, wow. I can go without the uh, the insect the bug thing, but I it's still very good. But it's yeah, up send Pat. Uh, what's his name? It's um, Clark Griswold's son-in-law, right? Or father-in-law. Father-in-law. Yeah. Um, I forgot his name, but he lived I to be like 100. Name. Albert something. Or, uh, no, Edgar something. E.G. Right? Marshall. E.G. Marshall. E.G. Marshall. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Creep Show, number one. Number two. <laughs> Joe, what you got? Or is number one, or is that Pat is number one now? <laughs> oh, right. So in, in Tales from the Dark Side, he was thinking the gremlin gargoyle that lands on the car. The one that um, what's his name? It's Ray Don Chong, and and um James Remar, James Remar from the Warriors. Come out and play. Come out and play. Now my number one is obvious. Creep show, man. Creep yeah, show. it it my my number one. It, it's creep show. That's that's still one of my probably my favorite horror movie of the eighties because it's just so nostalgia for me. And I just I remember having that tape as a kid and always putting it on the VCR and just loved watching it because what was great about it is because back then videotapes were not cheap. Yeah. You can yeah, just go wait go to a Walmart and buy one uh -huh. for $20. They were fucking like $80, $90 if you because they, they were always at the video store, so you had to rent them. So fortunately, my father was smart and went and got an extra a second VCR and we just started dubbing shit. <laughs> so I could rent it, yeah. and I could make a copy. And Creep Show was good because it was like watching several movies in one. So yeah, I, I it's hard for me to go against the ones that was the, like, how do I say this? Like an obvious pick of like one of the best movies ever. Like, but this one's hard to fight that it's not one of the greatest, not the greatest anthology horror film, you know, things of all time. It's kind of hard to argue it just because of the people involved, uh, the casting, what a stellar uh, cast, fucking. I mean, come on. Everything. Just think of it in terms of just as a uh, as a total totality. It totality. is just it's the shiznit, man. It's the best. And we got some cool shit coming out of it too, like the creeper. We got a Toonie Terrors figure. We got some NECA stuff coming out. Like there's a lot. There's an 18 inch one too, isn't there? Yeah, Creep Show rocks ass, man. In terms of giving us good fucking uh, collectibles, man. So that kind of adds to it to me. For yeah, me as well. yeah, tell this me. It's going to be extremely painful, Mister Merrill. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, man. Very nice. Such a great movie, man. Oh god. I oh, love it's good. Show. It's good stuff. All right, Brett, throw a curveball. What do you got as number one? Number one, it's very underrated. It's uh, VHS. Did you ever see VHS? I'm just kidding. VHS oh was my, my runners up. VHS was my runners up. Yeah, we can up. throw some runners up up there. And VHS is the first VHS, especially, is definitely a runner up. That's yeah, my bad. only runner up I thought of. But no, yeah, it's Creep Show too. I think I we talked about it before. No, uh, yeah. That, this was that was the first boobs I ever saw. The raft. That girl just had an amazing mm. chest. I'm sorry. And they weren't they weren't um, big or anything, but they were just perfect and they were perky. just nice. They were, they were just lit just and you just it. wanted to take them home and and yeah. you know, have your way with them. 
and just the concept that this big whatever the fuck that thing was in the yeah, fucking this water. Big blob of like fucking snot or whatever the hell it was. Yeah. I just like the guy at the beginning too. Look, uh, <laughs> George Kennedy at the beginning and the George hitchhiker. Kennedy is right. The hitchhiker was so much fun, and Tom Savini playing the. Uh, he played the. Uh, what did they? What did on they the on the garbage truck. On the garbage truck, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, I just have a lot more memories of the second one. It's just just how I grew up. That's all. Yeah, you know, some there's people no like I, so, some people like Halloween two more than Halloween one. There's some people out there. Come on, somebody's out there. I know. <laughs> Hey, I have no problem with it. And it Who could and that be? One, oh, that I, is Joe, right? Joe yeah. does like Halloween 2 more than one, right? Yeah. Who could yeah. that be? That was him right there. That's kind I of think him. even Ryan, too. Ryan said that, too. Ryan yeah, which I, which I can't yeah. say shit about it. But the, don't get me wrong. The first one probably has the better cast ensemble, but cast ensembles don't always you know, make everything. So but. The new Ed doll? Have you seen that, Joe? I Because I know you're a big Pennywise I guy. The new Ed doll is made in... uh, it depends. Which one do you mean, my friend? Which one? Which one do you mean, my friend? Is it the spirit one? Yeah, especially... Uh, a <laughs> fluffy figure would be fucking amazing. Especially fl- Nathan Graham, I got my father's day. He I want... I want a fucking house figure. What's that mother? The skeleton motherfucker? What's his name? Yeah. Uh, well, Mole. Roger's the other guy. Yeah. Um, oh, what man. What the hell is his name in it? Richard Mole's name in it. It's I'm, I'm Richard Mole from Night Court. Yeah. Night yeah, Court. Mole. The fucking Mole. The figure, though. The the character, sorry. Uh, oh, wow. I'm looking at this. this uh, fucking Bill and I pretty much had a dead on list. Roger, you hit oh, like yeah. girl. Yeah, the same list except for my number five was body bags and he put cat's eye. But the rest of it was exactly the same. Nice. He was Big Ben, dude. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big ben. That's it. Big Ben. When he gets yep, like, built slaughtered by the fucking big... Vietnam guys. Yeah. Yeah, Big Ben. I forgot all about that. So and, and one that is hard for me to leave off this list is, like I said, it's a little known anthology film and I, I turned... Colin on to it. I haven't heard how he liked it because I know he, he went out and bought it. Nightmares from 83 or 84. And I wanted to add it to this list. I just couldn't fit it. So it's definitely probably my number six. That's the one I told you about. It's got a um, Nightmares. This time it's personal. It's got Lance Henriksen in there. There's Emilio Estevez is in there. Uh, that's There's a bunch of different stories in there. So if, if you haven't seen it, go, go look Nightmares up. I think it's like 1983 or 84. Nightmare. And it's a really cool, it's a real creepy um, anthology film. Mm. And of course, Trick or Treat would have been my other one. I, I hate, hate it. I couldn't fit it on this list because all these other ones I like better. I do <laughs> love Trick or Treat. It's so romantic. You couldn't fit it. <laughs> I couldn't fit it. I wish. If I couldn't fit it, I'd be making films. Oh, good God. Well, I-